Do you have any tips for up and coming cosplayers or social media influencers? Mm, tips. Oh, that's hard, especially because I feel like I'm quite new to it, too. I think um, a big part of it. I mean, this what I'm about to say kind of goes against what I've said earlier, but hear me out. Um, I I've said that putting a, a, a bit of vulnerability in your content, I love doing that because that's how it connects back to me. But there's it's also very important to draw the line where your online persona is and where your real life is. It's very important for your own health to not take comments so um, literally or at face value because that can really damage your self-esteem and you want to protect that, you know, protect yourself from things that happen online because you can't really control it. So I think um, for new people, especially younger uh, content creators, I see a lot of really young kids on TikTok who are cosplayers and it makes me sad to see them get so affected by a lot of negative comments. First of all, they shouldn't be getting these negative comments or kids. Um, but at the same time, I think it's very important to have that kind of distinction where your real life uh, life stops and where the online persona begins and be able to keep them in separate enough places that you know how to distinct when you're in your own self and when you can become this character. And I take it that's something that was trial and error for you. Maybe you didn't feel like that right away. Oh, yeah, definitely. A lot of trial and error on that. Um, I think especially when I started posting pictures of myself, I would get a lot of uh, unsavory comments or um, DMs from people. And it used to scare me a lot because I didn't know how to respond to them. But then... I just remember, you know what, sometimes people have uh, problems or they, they can't really distinct um, a person from a character, right? So they'll see a cosplayer and they're like, oh my goodness, you're that character. And then they'll send you a bunch of comments that might make you feel uncomfortable. So you can't really control those people, unfortunately, as bad as that those things can get. A lot of harassment comes from that. But being able to separate yourself from that and being like, okay, you know, this is online, I'll block this person and protect myself. I think that's the most important thing uh, as being a person online. That's great advice, Minnie. Thank you. <laughs> what did your friends and family say when you started cosplaying? Uh, <laughs> actually, a lot of my friends don't know I cosplay. <laughs> so, so is this the big reveal? <laughs> oh my god don't i feel special i should have learned something a little better than this okay <laughs> so my family members of course they know i cosplay they'll they'll just like knock on my door and then i open it. i'm like huh and they're like what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> sometimes i'm in the middle of putting on my makeup so i only have a wig cap on half an eyelash and they're like what is going on in here i mean i've always done dress up stuff so they're like uh oh, this is kind of normal for you but whatever <laughs> they think it's pretty cool they think it's um it's an extension of my creative side of my artist side and i'm very lucky to have very supportive parents and very supportive family around me who um really think that you know this is good for you it's a good expression of your art um like i said a lot of my friends don't know like cosplay so I guess we'll see what the reaction will be after this. 